A few years ago, a couple of our roommates went out to the store and on their way to the store, they saw a group of men in the park, kitty corner from our house. It looked like the typical thing that happens on a, s a Saturday afternoon after people had too much to drink around the soccer field. So I thought, N nothing to get involved with. But when they came back, there was two men who had been shot, one with a bullet in his head laying dead on the ground. And they were the first on the scene and called 911. Come to find out what had happened was these two guys, good Samaritans came and broke up a fight. And that's the kind of the end of the fight that we saw. They were breaking it up. And then these young kids that they had, were breaking the fight up with, they went back to their house, got their guns and came back and shot the good Samaritans. And the week after that, we began to ask each other, what does it mean for us to be followers of the way of Jesus in a neighborhood where people are regularly shot and killed? Through some research, we found out about something called the broken window principle, that bad things tend to happen in neighborhoods where there is uh, garbage on the ground, graffiti, and broken windows. And so sometimes those, the, the rates of violence can be addressed simply by creating a greater sense of pride and ownership in the neighborhood. So we decided, well, let's, let's just start a little neighborhood campaign where we join the graffiti watch and we pick up trash once a week. We would pick up trash uh, once a week. We, we would walk around, pray for the neighborhood, meet people, put up posters. The slogan of the campaign was Barrio Libre, like neighborhood freedom. So we made these, these posters to depict what it would look like to love and serve our neighborhood together. We took our posters, which showed three things that are hurting the neighborhood. We had those crossed out and instead showed a picture of things we want to see happening. People using the public restrooms that are available. People um, putting garbage in garbage cans and um, instead of pulling guns, shaking hands, being neighborly. And so we put those posters up in the, around the park and in other places where violence tends to occur, and then worked with local businesses to have them display them both in Spanish and English around the neighborhood. It, it definitely felt like we had an impact that we didn't even anticipate. We started getting emails with people saying, hey, can I, have, can I have 100 posters? Can I have 200 of the posters? Can I put them up in my store? I really want to get this message out. We were finding them in other neighborhoods. School teachers were calling us saying, we're going to get a stack of those posters. It showed us what a small group of people could do to help instigate goodness in a neighborhood um, by getting active together. And our hope is it was not only to cause some impact through that project, but that in the future, all of us that were a part of that experiment would then think continually, okay, how, what is going on in my neighborhood? How can I be a part of it in the future? You know, with my own specific gifts, my own talents, my own interests, you know, how can I contribute to the fabric of my neighborhood in a beautiful way? But that was a real good way for us to practically get involved in like just a, a, a practice of service that was something sustainable that we wouldn't have to like devote like all this energy and then like there's no way we could keep going, you know.